They sent out their latest outlook. They typically do it at the end of May, just heading into the hurricane season. And then they give us an updated version of that preseason outlook. And they are calling it extremely active. We know this uh, already record shattering, record setting with nine named storms uh, that have already formed. So we go from the 13 to 19. This was their May outlook to now looking at 19 to 25. Now that's not in addition to that's already incorporating the nine that have already formed two of those storms were hurricanes so now the hurricane outlook is calling for 7 to 11 major hurricanes between 3 to 6 that major category uh, major hurricane status is category 3 or higher so maximum sustained winds of over 115 miles per hour good news is we stay nice and quiet and we're not anticipating any tropical development over the next five days and historically speaking we start to see that climb that uptick in activity later into the month so later in the next couple of weeks we're going to be monitoring that now next week we've got a couple of strong tropical waves uh, moving off the coast of africa and they have been dealing with extremely active monsoon season so with these showers and thunderstorms not encountering a lot of wind shear we're going to have to watch it as it continues to move toward the caribbean so stay right here give you make sure you're weather aware in the weeks ahead high pressure will be ruling our weather pattern what that means for us it's all about the heat and very low rain chances so typically this time of year we're in the mid 90s we're not too far off from that friends upper 90s monday and tuesday but we will get a break with some cooling downpours by the latter half of next week